Hi everyone. Well, it's finally here. This is Minecart Rapid Transit Station version 3. This is a fully automated, feature-rich station that is primarily intended for use on multiplayer servers. It uses all of the new booster and detector rails introduced in Minecraft Beta 1.5, and it doesn't use any of the old glitch boosters, nor any door boosters, or even Pez dispensers in this version. So let's go take a look. Here I am in my test world, and as always, I provide a download link to my test world save file in this video's description, so you can go get it from there and take a look for yourself. In my test world, I have three diff three stations in total. Uh, the first one of which is right here. This is Grassland Station. And to get inside, I'll just push this button to open the door, and here we are. So I'll take a look inside Grassland Station here. It uh, has a nice arched roof, which looks pretty nice. And uh, so yeah, the station operates kind of like a real-life public transit system. Kind of like a subway or a metro or a light rail system. Now from these signs here, I can see I can travel in two different directions, either northbound or southbound. I'm going to go southbound this time, uh, and I'll walk over to the southbound boarding area over here. Uh, as you can see, there are a whole bunch of signs uh, going over all the details of how to operate the system. But to depart us from the station is actually really easy. All I need to do is push this green button here to request a cart from the minecart dispenser. That indicator light will acknowledge my request. And the cart will arrive in this slot here, uh, waiting for me to board. It'll wait about four seconds and then depart automatically. Um, in that case, I didn't. if I don't board it, it'll get fed back in the dispenser, as you can see through those gla this glass flooring here. Now, I'm not a big fan of hiding the minecart mechanics and redstone from the player, so this is this is why I've installed this glass flooring. I want the player to know, uh, to see, know and see what what's going on down there. Now, um, it, this is also useful for troubleshooting any problems down there as well. So, if there's any jammed carts in the dispenser, for example, then they can easily see it through this flooring here. So that's that. Um, so let's actually depart from the station now. Uh, uh, before I do so, I gotta let you know of a bug in Minecraft Beta 1.6.6, and what'll happen is when I depart from the station, I'll actually take half a heart of damage, and that is caused by if when I go around that that corner, you see my cursor there, this corner track piece. It would, if you go around that corner track piece at a high enough speed, and there's a block around. Uh, a piece of block around there, then the player will actually take that damage. Uh, this is a, what I expect this bug to be fixed eventually by the Mojang crew, and also I don't have enough time to work around that bug, so for now you'll have to live with it. Uh, hopefully uh, the uh, almighty Notch will be able to uh, fix that in the near future. So here we go, aboard the cart, and off we go. Ooh. Ow, so there I took my damage. Unfor uh, fortunately, I'm on peaceful mode, so I healed right back up. So now we're on our way. Uh, so there are three types of stations in this release. The grassland station over there is a ground level station. And the station we're heading toward now is tundra station. And that's an elevated station. And the third station, which I'll show you later on in this video, is mountain station. And as you can probably guess, that's an underground station. So, uh, yep. So here we are. We're... So Chime is uh, reminding us that we're about to arrive at a station here, and here we are. And as you arrive, all you need to do is just uh, walk out of the cart, and uh, the cart will, will wait about four seconds there, and it'll automatically take that unoccupied cart away and back into the dispenser. All right, so what makes this station multiplayer capable is that it has multiple, multiple uh, rival bays. So it has three rival bays per direction, incoming direction. Uh, there's one, two, and three, uh, three being the also the departure bay. Now, what'll this will prevent the players as they arrive from colliding from each other. So say if I just arrived in a rival bay one, and there's another player just behind me, uh, and I'm still in the bay one, that, that other player will get diverted into bay two and so on and so forth. Uh, if all the three bays are occupied at the same time, then what'll happen is that main track switch you see over there, where my cursor is, that'll engage and all further carts will uh, get diverted down, uh, will basically bypass the station and down the main, continue down the main track. And that's a, still a better solution than having uh, all the uh, carts colliding with each other. So. That's that. So uh, that's all about departures and arrivals at the station. Let's go take a look at the minecart dispenser now.
Uh, now, if you ever seen my last video, I was initially going to go with uh, Deltra's uh, minecart dispenser, as you can see, as he showed in his showed as he showed in his video. But I found that dispenser to be a unfortunately to be a bit too unreliable. For some random reason, more often than not, the card will actually get stuck in the middle of the dispenser, and that was simply unacceptable. So um, what I've done is I've replaced it with a, a dispenser by a guy named Renvold. It's his compact module dispenser, and uh, this one has several advantages over Deltras. Uh, for first thing is that um, it's a lot more compact than Deltras, so much so that with Deltras I was able to achieve a capacity of 11 cards, but with Renwalls I actually increase the capacity to 12 cards. So one more card. Uh, Woohoo! And uh, another advantage of it is of this dispenser, it, it employs some self-repair logic. Uh, what this means is, if I eliminate a cart by creating a gap inside one of the slots in the dispenser, what will happen is, next time I request a cart, it will actually try to fix that uh, logic. I think this this was a uh, this sort of logic was initially uh, proposed by Tavi Rider in one of his vertical dispensers. So here I am. I'm going to mm -hmm. test it out. I just requested a cart. It'll push all the carts toward the front end, and as you can see here, uh, the gap is gone now. So that's pretty good. Um, another, and the final, the final advantage of Renroll's dispenser is it's much more reliable than Delta. It doesn't seem to get stuck as often as, as before. But it, I do have to admit, though, that it, it isn't 100% reliable. About maybe, I don't know, once out of 100 times, it, one of these carts does jam. How, the, how it occurs, what I've seen is, uh, for example, this cart will not stop in its designated slot. It'll act when it moves up. It'll actually move up two slots, and it'll try to. It'll actually stop right over here on this uh, unboosted track here, and and then eventually it'll get. Uh, it'll cause a cart to get stuck in one of those middle 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 portions there. So that's unfortunate, but um, in most part, it seems to work pretty well. Uh, the reason why I didn't go with a sort of, sort of Pez dispenser or a vertical dispenser is I wanted to minimize the overall height of the station, which is just for out of aesthetics because I wanted to make this station kind of look like uh, a real life station. Also, I didn't want to go with Pez dispensers because I want to try to go for a pure uh, dispenser, the one that didn't sort of use it's not. Some people might not consider Pez dispensers a glitch, but uh, you never know what will happen with the behavior of minecarts as uh, they develop the game a bit further. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna now I'm gonna explain a bit more about the boarding area indicator lights. There are four lights above the boarding area, uh, providing um, information to the player. These two on the right uh, indicate the status of the requested cart. Uh, this one will light up, the cart approaching will light up when a uh, cart is, you know, uh, heading toward this bay here. And this one will light up when the cart has actually arrived in the bay um, and is ready for departure. Uh, these two indicator lights on the left uh, indicate the status of this dispenser, and that's pretty straightforward. Uh, this one will light up if the dispenser is full, and this one will light up if the dispenser is empty. I'm actually going to fill up the dispenser now. I'm going to put it and you can do that through this little slot here, uh, convenient slot. Just place the cart in this, in the on that booster track, and it'll load it up for you. Now you have, unfortunately, you have to wait three seconds between uh, loading a cart because of how this uh, cart sorter works. Um, this is the empty cart detection system, and it's real, all it is is a simple hill of uh, of three blocks high of non-boosted track. And how this, how minecarts work is, uh, if a player is in a minecart, it'll have enough momentum to climb up this hill and get boosted onto the main track. As I can see, I'm following down that way. Now, for unoccupied and for unoccupied carts, uh, empty carts, they'll try to go up the hill. I'll show it again here. They'll try to go up the hill, but they won't have enough momentum, and they'll just roll back down and get fed back into the dispenser. All right, so I'm gonna. Fill this up here. I think I need one more cart here. All right, so there we are. We have four carts in the dispenser, or full. The dispenser is full now. Uh, the indicator light is now lit, and uh, now watch what happens if I try to fill some 
an additional card, or if another player arrives at the station. The card will uh, get diverted into this overflow area over here. It's a simple piece of track. It can theoretically hold an infinite number of overflow cards. And uh, if you have a lot of cards in here, they'll, it'll kind of look to glitch up. The, the cards will look to all glitch, glitched up, but that's okay because this is just a pickup area. And also between the pickup area and the slot, the loading slot here is a conveniently placed chest of extra carts. So you can pick up your carts from this track here, put them in this chest here, and then also pick up carts from this chest and load it up into the dispenser. Alright, so that's all for the basic functionality of the station.